we're looking to answer the question, what is the effect of space flight on the host? The host here being the fruit fly or Drosophila, and also on a pathogen. Uh, so the bacteria actually is one that can infect the fly, very similarly to the way it would infect, for example, a human or any other organism. The genetic makeup of the fruit fly is actually very similar to humans. If you took the human genome and you looked at all the genes that you know are important for function, in that category, in that library of genes, there's 75% similarity between the human genes and the fruit fly genes. In a box this size, thousands of flies can be flown and brought back so that even if you see an important difference that is small, you can get statistically significant data because you get 3,000 flies or 4,000 flies coming back in a box that size. We have a very nice new piece of hardware, the company TechShot. We've been working together with them for the last few years uh, in developing a very capable piece of hardware. What's so special about uh, the TechShot MVP is really that there are two internal carousels inside the unit and each one of them can produce anywhere from zero to two Gs. So it'll be the only payload of its kind in the U.S. segment that can do this. The sample modules themselves do transport to and from the station in the uh, cargo vehicles, but the, the payload itself, the locker stays on board the station permanently. We are interested in human exploration. We want to go to Moon, we want to go to Mars, we want to explore the environment outside of low Earth orbit. And to do that, we need the help of these surrogate model organisms because once we understand the genes and the pathways, then we know what the countermeasures are that we're working towards.